What does USMLE want for myasthenia gravis? Well, they care about three things. The number one is mechanism, number two diagnosis, and thirdly management. So let's start with the mechanism first. Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune attack on the postsynaptic nicotinic acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction. So what happens is now signal transmission fails because the neurotransmission junction is not working with the muscles working fine at first, but then they fatigue with use. The key phrase the USMLE loves giving is symptoms that are worse at the end of the day. Now for the diagnosis of myasthenia, now you look for anticholinergic receptors antibodies if that is negative you check for anti-musk antibodies if they ask for a bedside test the answer is the ice pack test where cooling improves the strength because it slows down acetylcholine breakdown the old NBME exams used to love the adrophonium also called as the tensilion test but modern day USM exam tests you on the antibodies and EMG findings which you can also use on the USMLE next is management of myasthenia you start with peridostigmin which is a reversible acetylcholine estrus inhibitor then you can add corticosteroids or other immunosuppressants if the symptoms persist despite using peridostigmin. If there is a thymoma, which can sometimes cause the myasthenia gravis, you remove it and that's a thymectomy and it can be curative for myasthenia gravis.